As a journalist and as a programmer and as someone who was involved in the embryonic internet and bringing the internet to people and bringing that great tool of information and publishing freedom to people, I saw that we could achieve a lot of reform with a little bit of work. And of course you all know this and you should remember Solzhenitsyn's words that in the right moment one word of truth outweighs the world. And Solzhenitsyn was referring to a world of lies. But this still is true for information across the world and it's also true for information in the West that in some cases one classified video can possibly stop a war and maybe 50 definitely can. We are now approaching the state of Orwell's dictum, perfect dictum, that he who controls the present controls the past. He who controls internet servers controls the intellectual record of mankind and by controlling that controls our perceptions of who we are and by controlling that controls what laws and regulations we make in society. In the UK right now there are 300 secret gag orders. Those are gag orders that not only prevent the press from reporting corruption and abuse, they prevent the press from reporting that the press has been gagged. This is not the liberal democracy that we had all dreamed of. This is an encroaching, privatised censorship regime. And just like everything else in the West that becomes privatised and fiscalised, censorship also is not only a mechanism that is implied by the state. It is something that can be hijacked by wealthy plutocrats, by big companies, to use the coercive mechanisms of the state through the judicial system, through unequal access to the judicial system, through patronage networks, to have material removed permanently from the historical record.